Seven to one! What is up, my friends? All right, we're gonna do. Uh, you, so you want to learn anime? Let's let's do it. All right, big announcement. Also, I'm doing tutorials again. That, that's what that's why you're here. Um, also, I got a monitor that actually is not ultra wide, so you don't have to worry about resolution. Looking weird. All right, let's do this. Okay, so. Um, you want to do that weird anime streaks that you see in like corridor crew videos. Um, so we're gonna be doing this today Not that today. We're gonna be doing this today Bam look at that. Did you see that? Did you see that? it's 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 two seconds long? I'm sorry. I should have made a longer clip as an example. We have uh, let's have our sample clip right here So just bring that into a timeline get all set and then let's select it and let's go over into fusion All right, so once we're in fusion here uh, this is a super easy thing and a s easy effect to do. Um, all we have to do is, if I can remember how to move, um, we'll go over here and of course press shift and spacebar at the same time to bring up our search bar. Uh, all we're going to do is add a noise to it. Noise, which we want fast noise, alright? So, oh, it just changed my video. Now we're back, okay. Alright, add fast noise to that. Um, so, look at that, we've got a sexy merge button there. Epic. All right. Anyway, um, from here, let's go into our media in. Oh, I have it mixed up. I like to have it like that and like that. So now it's all organized. All right. So let's go ahead and just click on our fast noise and press one to bring it into this screen so we can just look at it by itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring up the detail quite a bit. The contrast, definitely. The contrast is great because that'll give us a lot of uh, more kind of like depth to our streaks and then maybe the brightness might bring that down just a tad now the big key thing is it doesn't look like streaks so what we want to do is click unlock the X and Z and that will make it so we can freaking distort this and stretch it into a sane measures so let's just bring up the Y scale a ton alright completely distort it um, and then stretch out the X scale, uh, maybe bring the X scale down a little bit. Uh, then add, add a little bit more of Y, bring that down. And as you can see, we already got these cool little streaks. Um, let's see if I want to bring down the contrast just a little bit. That way we have a little bit more glow to it. Um, and I think from there, that's a good starting point. Now, how are we going to get it to move? Um, so basically, we have the seeth rate. Seeth? 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 Scythe? See? See? I don't know. Um, but basically, with this thing, if we move it, it will basically change the randomness of it. And look at that. Oh, we've got animation, my friends. So, what we want to do is come to the start frame of your clip and go ahead. Your GPU memory is full. Try reducing the timeline resolution. Well, okay then. Um, Okay, everybody, we're back. Okay, so basically what you want to do to animate this is you want to go into your fast... Um, so basically what you want to do to animate this is you want to go to your seeth rate. Now go to the front part of your clip. Go ahead and add a keyframe there. And then move your keyframe all the way, or your cursor, all the way to the end of your clip. And go ahead and add a bunch of seeth, I guess, to it. Um, probably have to experiment with this, make sure, you know, whatever pacing or uh, numbers or key, whatever animation rate you want. So let's go ahead and play that and see uh, how much, it, how, how good it works. Oh, look at that. that. That works pretty good. So that looks pretty nice. If it's a little bit slow for you, you might have to animate it further, stretch out the keyframes, or condense them. So uh, it's really up to your personal preference of how fast and how crazy you want the streak lines to move. Now, of course, it's covering the whole screen. So let's go ahead and add a mask by clicking that little rectangle right there. And as you can see, we have this rectangle up. Let's go ahead and put this in the second screen here. That way I can just see it all by itself. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and stretch this all the way out as much as I can. Uh, let's grab these, pull it all the way out, and then pull this up a little bit. And then go over to the properties and soften the edge. And then finally to wrap it up, invert it. And look at that. We have the most beautiful high quality special effects you have ever seen in your life. I forget which button, uh, this. Oh, look, I'm in the corner of the screen now. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so basically, 
that's all pretty good good and done that, that that's kind of a, enough if you really want to stop there um, but we're gonna go a little bit further now by all means if you want to go into the merge property and mess with the um, blend modes or the apply mode and like change it to uh, something like lighten you'll get some pretty cool effects with that and it will interact with the screen a little bit more but go ahead and kind of do whatever you want to see like this will brighten everything so you can kind of mess with the blend modes over here if you want to however we're gonna kind of glance over that and move on to adding a camera shake Cam okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on the camera shake add that and then let's go ahead and mess with the properties here so we're gonna bring the X and Y deviation down uh, what the X and Y deviation is basically how far uh, the camera will shake from like its center position. All it's doing with the camera shake is it's just taking your frame and just translating it uh, back and forth. So we're going to limit the distance so it doesn't move that far. We want it to move really little. That way it's almost seizures, not even shake. Now as you can see, we have this crazy rotation, and that's from the rotation deviation. I'm going to bring that to zero because I personally don't want this shaking or rotating in any way. I just want it to shake really fast. Now if we play it, it's pretty good, but I'd like it to I'd like to increase the randomness. That way it's going in random directions everywhere. And that will look a little bit nicer. And in terms of that, that looks pretty good. You can amp up the speed if you want to go really crazy with it, but I think we'll kind of bring the speed of, of it down a little bit. Uh, so you can mess with the strength and the speed if you want to see what different results you could get from that. However, I think that is good enough for us right now. However, if you do zoom in, you can see that basically the, the way it does the camera shake is by just moving it. And by moving your frame around, you're showing the background, which does not help us in any way. So in order to fix uh, the background that it shows in the back, let's go ahead and shift spacebar, type in transformation, and add one transform. And it is as simple as going into the size and scaling it up just a tad so now when it shakes it's covering the edges so it, you don't have any weird overlap and if we go ahead and move back into our timeline go over here we can go into full screen and press play you've got an epic it's it's glitching out I think I just crashed my computer but it works all right heck yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this enjoy and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and have a great day you extruded bedazzled pineapples remember to subscribe subscribing is important very very important stuff to do because you don't want to you don't want to miss any opportunities to we hit a thousand subscribers I should mention that I should mention that we did do that it's in big accomplishment.